the Verizon iPhone launch and there was no pandemonium this time. Apple working on an iPhone Nano or Mini, if they can ever figure that one out. And AT&T is offering tons of free minutes to iPhone users. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everybody, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Now iReview, the show where we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. Let's start this week off with the cool. Well, we're going to leave this one in the cool section because it finally happened, but Apple and Verizon finally launched their iPhone 4 to the masses. But wait, no masses ever got there. The lines barely got to 20 people and Apple even had barricades outside flagship Apple stores waiting for pandemonium to be out there. Now what happened? Well, could it be the rough temperatures? It could be that the pre-order strategy worked this time, man. Well, Apple had a more ordered way to sell their device. Whether you like it or not, having mass pandemonium of people outside your stores is really not a successful way to sell a device. It's terrible customer service, but our biggest bet is that Verizon customers really didn't go crazy over the device because, well, the iPhone 5 is right around the corner. What I really don't know that all Verizon customers know is that, well, Apple has a yearly cycle, so most probably, what we're going to have in June is the refresh for the AT&T GSM iPhone 4 and not really the Verizon iPhone 4. So, we'll see what happens. Well, rumors have Apple hiring iOS developer App Remix to work on revamping their notification system. You know those really intrusive blue screens that always pop up when you least want them to and that many of us end up disabling because they're just ugly? Well, it seems that Apple's hiring this guy, but what we don't understand is why hire somebody else to do it when they've sort of already hired the webOS guru that really made things work for Palm to do the same thing on iOS. Really don't know what's going on, but at least, hey, it's something really cool. We are expecting this to be part of iOS 5 somewhere sometime this year. Other rumors have Apple working on an iPhone Nano, Mini, or whatever you want to call it to compete with the $200 and below price point with Android, Nokia, and other manufacturers. Now we don't really see Apple trying to compete with a cheaper level device. We do see Apple's employees bored of using the same device for the past four years. You know they always say that they always build devices that they would like to use, so I do see them being bored after four years of holding the same iPhone UI and device and look. So good to see some variety guys. And well, out with the Verizon iPhone 4 is iOS 4.2.6, which is exclusively for the Verizon iPhone, to bring a couple of bug fixes. Now, aside from all the official stuff, let's focus on the fact that Green Poison has already released an update that will allow you to jailbreak the Verizon iPhone 4 and even this update. So, yeah, City of Buddies is out there. And well, as competition gets fierce, AT&T is giving Verizon a run for their money. Why? Well, if you're a happy AT&T iPhone customer, you most probably already got that text message that tells you you get a thousand free rollover minutes just because you're an AT&T customer and you're staying. Now our advice to you is if you want to switch, well, take upon those 1,000 minutes and then switch. Or stay. It's really up to you, but then again, really good competition strategies. Let's hope Verizon comes up with something similar and gives us more free minutes or more unlimited data plans on AT&T for everybody. And while that does it for the cool, let's continue on with the not so cool. As you guessed it, the cats that I fixed had already got their paws on the Verizon iPhone 4, tore it apart, and aside from finding terrible screws and some lighter hardware, one of the interesting notes is that they found that the device has support for both GSM and CDMA networks. Now the question is Apple, if you release a device in the past that already has that SIM card slot, and now you choose to release the Verizon iPhone 4 with support for GSM, why don't you release a world phone, you know, a Verizon CDMA device that can also roam in GSM countries? Really don't know what you're doing, Apple, but this is the real reason why people hated your Verizon iPhone 4 release. People are waiting for the Verizon iPhone 5 or 4S or whatever just because of the fact that the current CMA device doesn't support world roaming. Really bad strategy, guys. Well, I don't speak German, so bear with me here. The Fraunhofer Institute 
Famous for bringing you MP3 technology, just figured out how to crack the iOS password systems in under six minutes. Now don't be scared, this doesn't actually work over the network, you actually have to have the device connected to the software to be able to crack the iOS password. So unless you give somebody the device or they share the software, you're pretty much in good hands still. Now call this a very cool service for your mom when she forgets her password. Aside from that, well, you know, it's something that's out there. They already figured out how to crack it, so not really cool to see that they could crack other things eventually. And well, Consumer Reports is added again this time on TV. I call these guys an ironic team because if you remember for the release of the AT&T iPhone 4, they first said it was the best smartphone of the year, and then eventually they came up with a duct tape video telling you the antenna gate issues were bad. Now they come up on TV and tell everybody that the Verizon iPhone 4 is a good device, but they didn't have a device yet to test. Now, you have people outside telling everybody that they're already having antenna issues. We really didn't, can't confirm this yet, but again, Consumer Reports, wait till you have a device, bring it up to your labs, make a video showing us that the device is good, and then come on TV and say, hey, it's a good device. Again. Anyways. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.